Governor of Mombasa, Abdisamad Sharif Nasir, Deputy Ambassador of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the other dignitaries, including Jeff Qadi, Member of Parliament, all protocol observe. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I would like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has been giving us blessing and mercies so that we can attend this auspicious event today. I extend my deepest gratitude to the governor of Mombasa, my brother Abdisamad Sharif Nasir, for extending this gracious invitation, inviting me to, uh, to take part this momentous occasion. The conclusion of ceremony of Quranic reading competition is testimony to the rich cultural tapestry and educational favor that defines this beautiful region. Today we gather not only to witness Check, check, one. Shukran. Today we are gathered not only to witness the remarkable talent is showcased by students hailing from diverse cultures, countries, but also to celebrate the profound dedication, discipline they have exhibited throughout this competition. Many have traveled great distance to be here is a testament to their commitment to the Quranic reading recitation. Their unwavering prevision will undoubtedly propel them towards the greatness in life. Furthermore, as we find ourselves in the blessed last 10 days of Ramadan, a period of heightened spirituality, reflection for Muslims worldwide, the significance of this event is amplified. The, these sacred days provide an opportunity for increased devotion, supplication, and self-reflection, serving as a reminder of the importance of spiritual growth and community cohesion. I extend my hearty congratulations to all participants of the competition, commending their exemplary effort and dedication to the families of those participants. I offer a word of gratitude and appreciation. It is through your unwavering support and encouragement that those students have reached this remarkable heights. Your pivotal role in nurturing and guiding them along this journey cannot be overstated. It's also important to acknowledge that those who have not won for their effort they have gained the mercies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have taken step to closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Each year, Mombasa hosts this Quranic competition, a tradition that has long been cherished locally. But this year marks a special milestone as you extended its competition to other regions, particularly across East Africa, making it on an international event. Inshallah, next year we hope to see even more regions from Africa and beyond participating in this noble competition, further uniting us in our pursuit of spiritual enlightenment. I commend the county leaders led by the governor for their unwavering commitment to fostering educational excellence, cultural appreciation within the community. It is through their vision and leadership that events such as this competition are made possible, providing a platform for youth empowerment and intercultural dialogue. Mombasa, where it is his rich history as a center of Islamic study, stands proud as a host of this event. It reflects the deep-rooted ties between Islam and people of the coast showcasing your commitment to nurturing and preserving that heritage. Let us continue to uphold the value of unity, knowledge, and faith as we move forward, guided by 
the teaching of Holy Quran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.